right, let's check the oil on old, uh, I don't know, I don't even really have a name for my dump truck. Let's just dump it over everything, yeah, just below the full line. This morning we're working on, started on making, working on making uh, candle light construction look good. So, Taylor said he needed a uh, handsome bearded guy to model his hoodies for him, so I thought, well, who better to take that job than me, right? Uh, let's see, what do we got for you guys today? Probably a whole lot of random stuff, so for starters, we're going to load up and head to the uh, case dealership, which I got a funny story for them, so, and uh, pick up a new set of tracks for the loader there uh, I think I've got 2200 hours in the set I got now but the biggest reason I'm going to get a set is they called me Monday and my case dealer is no longer a Takahuchi dealer I guess so I don't really know I gotta find out the details on that but and they're kind of up in the air and if they're still gonna be able to get parts and stuff like that or not so uh, yeah, kind of waiting here on that, but they got one set of tracks left And I'm getting a bunch of filters and stuff like that. So I guess they couldn't send it back I got a little bit of a deal on the tracks I kind of think somebody around here will pick up Takahuchi because I mean we're Joplin is they call it the four states. I mean we're right, you know five minutes from Oklahoma, Kansas uh, Arkansas so, I mean, we're we're right on the border of all that, so I figure somebody will pick them up. I think the next closest dealer is either in Tulsa or Kansas City, so two hours for me, either direction, west or north. But, uh, yeah, so I found that kind of interesting. They've been selling Takahuchis here in town for, I don't know, at least 25 years that I know of, so I didn't get a lot of details on that. But uh, it's always exciting when you buy a brand new machine, you got two years worth of warranty, and then your uh, dealer says, oh, sorry, we're no longer a dealer, but... Uh, yeah, we'll uh, go pick those tracks up, bring them back, unload them. You guys are right in the sun. It rained again last night and this morning. So everything's nice and muddy. So yeah, I just figured today would be a good, good time this morning to go get those tracks, pick some of that stuff up, possibly deliver that rock, and then got a couple things to go look at. So uh, let's see what we can get into. There's the new shoes for the loader. Nice brand new set of tracks. These are the OEM tracks. I make some aftermarket ones, but I just really like this uh, tread design. They clean out good, they got good traction, and they ride and last a whole lot better than the uh, aftermarket. So, yeah, we'll uh, go get the loader, get the forks put on, and get these things brought inside.
I stocked up on this morning. You got a new set of tracks and uh, two filters of each kind for both machines. And then I got the, uh, well, they're on the boxes are over there, but I got the front idlers and track adjusters for this. And then a whole bunch of various uh, just bolts and nuts and pieces. I think that's the cable that opens the door. Yeah, new wiper arm. There's just a whole bunch of little goodies in that box, but not on a banner. And then they uh, got me a bar stool. So, yeah, but here's the new tracks. You can kind of see how much these are worn down because, you know, now you can actually tell a difference between here and here where these are completely smooth. But those have got about 2,200 hours on them. So, my first set. The, uh, the same brand I got 1800 so I've beat that set so far I'm probably not gonna change them out just yet just cuz I don't know I'm, I guess I'm weird I mean they're not broke they're not riding that great right now cuz uh, yeah everything's a little uh, they're riding a little rough just because they're not much tread and stuff on them. we'll see I know they probably won't make it a whole lot longer and this was the last set of tracks that they had so I wanted to get my name or my hands on them as quick as I could yeah when I do change them we will put the new front idlers on because I've never changed those so they've got 7300 hours on them and then there is a piece can't remember which side it is <clears throat> but it's the track adjuster which is a cylinder down inside of here and there's a huge spring and a, you know, a bolt or whatever in the end of that that pushes that idler forward the bolt or the shaft of that thing is actually broke and you can kind of reach in there and feel it rubbing on the back of that so which i've had these for a little while i just haven't put them on yeah he's got that giant spring and that right there that nut is what is broke in there so i've got those so yeah i've got all those so when i get ready to do it Put the tracks on <clears throat> we'll put the new front idlers and front track adjusters on there uh the planetaries of the sprockets i just changed them out at 5200 hours so they got a little over 2000 hours on them they still look good so man all the rollers are fine which blows my mind because like i said that that's the original undercarriage except for the uh planetary gear i've not done anything to the back roller or idler or any of the smaller rollers and they're still uh, nice and tight and just fine so yeah that's a pretty good testament to takahuchi 7300 hours on an undercarriage is uh pretty good if you ask me especially for the rocky conditions and stuff that i work in but i'm actually going to come in here and clean my corner up today i got this is kind of where all my stuff is that i keep I'm gonna put those filters. I usually use the top shelf is the loader, and this shelf is the excavator. I'm gonna try to dig around and see if I can't uh, find another one of those where I can put all the filters and stuff. I just like to have everything kind of a little stockpile there. It's a mess in here today and it's dusty. Oh, yeah, there's my snow box. I don't even know what brand. I think it's some cheap, cheap knockoff. I actually ended up buying that. Man, I've had that thing for five or six years, but I want to say I got it off of Amazon or somewhere for like $1,200. So it's kind of some cheaper, lighter weight steel. We've already had to weld weld some stuff on those pads, and I've only used it twice. But for $1,200, you can't really complain about a uh, eight-foot snow box. So we don't get enough snow to justify uh, spending a whole lot on one. That may be what I do today is just kind of... Uh, organize the shop a little bit all right so i didn't totally get a whole lot done today i guess i got i uh, replaced both these cylinders on the door it's got these little bitty rollers right in there that uh i changed those out because they were getting a little bit worn and the door was moving and rattling some but yeah i didn't really get a whole lot done today uh it was a little wet when i looked at a few things still too muddy uh, the little rock I didn't go haul. I called them and they said it was too wet to get in there to do anything. Uh, 
And then, I, you know, once it was past lunchtime and I had lunch, I had no motivation to go do anything. I talked to Dig and OK on the phone for about an hour this afternoon. Oh, and I did, uh, I got my banner hung, so I mean, that's kind of important, right? And then I really, I didn't find another shelf. Because we used to have a whole bunch of these whenever 7-Up had a bunch of stuff in here. But I guess they got rid of them, so. I uh, cleaned up some of the junk on here. And I got all my in and out air filters, the excavator shelf, the loader shelf. And then what else? What else? Oh, yeah, I got the tracks out of the way. I did not sweep the floor. Like I said, I didn't feel like it. So, yeah, uh, not really a whole lot of anything today. I enjoyed talking to Frank. That was... That was kind of nice. He was doing the same thing, maintenance on his new dozer. So we kind of shot the bull for a little while. So that was good to catch up with him. But uh, if Miss Elite asked, I got a lot done today. I made a lot of money. But uh, yeah, not, not, not really the case. But uh, a whole lot of nothing basically today. But I don't know. Sometimes that's kind of nice once in a while. What do I got coming up Monday? Finish my perimeter drain job. Which I don't know if I, I haven't, I think I got that video up yet, so you guys probably have no idea what I'm talking about. You guys have a good weekend, and uh, we'll catch you on Monday. Huh. And no, I didn't forget about, should I pull a Taylor? Or, I just, I don't have the energy like Taylor does, so. He's always giving me a hard time about how he's got his uh, patriots that watch his channel in some kind of word, so. Uh, yeah, this is my attempt at that. Let's see, what can the word today be? Unmotivated, maybe? I don't know, lazy? You guys have come up with something. I know uh, DC or Brian Gardner will have uh, something to come up with, so. Yeah, Taylor, buddy, I'm just not as good at uh, doing the outros and stuff like you are for everybody, so. I apologize, but anyway, you guys have a good weekend. Talk to you Monday.